right, we live. Yes, sir. First live stream of 2020. First live stream of 2020 tonight. Definitely happy new year. Happy new year. And tonight, we're actually going to dive into talking about social growth in Facebook ad 2020 domination strategies. That's actually what we're going to talk about tonight on this live stream. It's not just going to be me. It's also going to be Instagram specialists with the rise of the 1% with the rise media. Antonio Billhouse as well is going to be coming onto this live stream to talk about some growth strategies in terms of Instagram for your business in 2020. And of course, I'm going to be covering the Facebook ad strategies. <laughs> and I spend a lot of my time in that business manager on a day-to-day -day basis. So we're going to share this live around in some Facebook groups, get some more people to hop on. If you're tuning in, feel free to share this live stream around with anyone else you feel could benefit tonight. Definitely don't share the jewels. And like I say, for many of you all that's actually hopping on, happy new year to you, happy 2020 to you. Extremely excited to be into a new year. New year, new things, new goals, new accomplishments. I'm pretty sure many of you all are setting out for it. So definitely welcome to the first live stream on the Gerald Bass page of 2020. And tonight we're going to be talking about social growth, Facebook ad, 2020 domination strategies, tonight on this live stream. And it won't just be me, it'll also be for you all that's just hopping on, Instagram specialists, Antonio Millhouse with the rise of the 1%, the rise media. Be talking about growth strategies in terms of growing your Instagram in 2020. And of course, I'm going to cover Facebook advertisement. So we're going to dive into this thing in the next moment or so. Feel free to share this around with anyone else you feel could benefit from chiming in. Feel free to drop a comment. Let us know you tuned in. Let us know you're ready for 2020. Let us know you're excited about 2020, you're excited about more life, you're excited about more success, you're excited about more happiness. So we're going to get going over the next moment or so. All righty. Yep. Share them in all the groups. Okay, awesome. Yep, yep, yep. You chiming in, drop a comment, let us know you're chiming in as well. Got some great stuff to share tonight. Some great stuff. Okay, so yeah, if you're hopping on, you can drop a comment, let us know you're hopping on, you're tuning in, you're ready to receive this information tonight. Terry, say hello. Hello, Terry. A lot of people's tagging people. Okay, if you're tagging people, that is definitely awesome. Because we're going to share some definitely some great information tonight that literally could transform your entire life and business in 2020 and beyond. Okay, it's people that pay us a lot of money for some of this information that we're going to share tonight. And you're getting it for free because you're tuning in. And for anyone that you're tagging in this live stream you're sharing this with, 
they can also receive this great information and transform their lives and businesses as well. We go out and we impact the world together. So definitely appreciate all y'all that's tagging people and sharing the live stream with people. Okay. Like I say, tonight we're going to be talking about social growth and Facebook ad 2020 domination strategies. Okay. And you're going to hear from None other than when it comes to social growth, we're going to talk about Instagram in terms of growth. And we're going to talk about Facebook as well. But right now, in terms of how the algorithm works and even just how these platforms work as a whole, growth is definitely important over on the Instagram platform because we know on the Facebook business page, the reach is not very great these days. Okay. But we're going to talk about how you can get that reach up okay, as well tonight. Okay. So the first person who's going to be speaking tonight will actually be Mr. Antonio Millhouse, who's actually an Instagram specialist with the Rise of 1% Rise Media. He's going to actually be speaking tonight. And let me tell you all this. Growth is definitely important in terms of your Instagram account in today's time, okay? In today's time because perception is everything. And I'm going to share this very quickly, okay? And I'm going to let Antonio come on and share his piece, being he specializes over there. But what I've discovered recently when it comes to Instagram, from my knowledge and me growing my own account as well over there and being active over on Instagram, is that when people land on your Instagram account, for you all that have Instagram accounts, the first thing they look at is they look at your follower number. That's the first thing they look at. The second thing they look at is the bio. Who are you and what do you do? And then the third thing they're looking at is your content and your engagement. Okay, that's the order. Mm -hmm. So, Growth is def definitely very important over there on that platform today if you want to position yourself as someone credible and an authority in the space, okay? People take you a whole lot more serious when they can see that you have some type of following, you put out great content that they get a value from, and they see as well you get a great amount of engagement, okay, with your content. They look at you more as, like I say, a credible and an authority in the space. Okay, so I'm not going to go too, too, too many details about that. I'm going to let Antonio come on and, and speak about growth and his perspective on it and give you some tips in terms of growing over on Instagram in 2020. So, Antonio, you can come on up and uh, you can take it away, my brother. Good, good, good. What's good? What's good, man? I'm super excited. And uh, I mean, I'm telling you guys, man, y'all are in for a treat tonight. Like, if whoever they don't hear, I feel sorry for them. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, but like Gerald said, my name is Antonio Mearhouse, social media director for the Rise Media Agency. And uh, I've been really specializing in Instagram, helping a lot of people grow and monetize um, for several years now and one of the things um, just to hit on the importance of having a social presence all right a lot of times people look at it like I don't care about the followers and all that but if you're someone in business and you have a product or service that you feel that the marketplace need then you definitely need to worry about really building your social presence and the reason being it's simply because by you having a social presence, a large following like Gerald spoke on, um, it just puts you in your space as someone of authority in your space. You're, you, you look more credible um, in your space or your niche. And so a lot of times, too, just by having a social following, you'll be amazed of how many companies will reach out to you without you having to reach out to them, whether that's for free travels, car rentals, free dinners, so much stuff that comes with it just by having a huge 
Social presence. He said free. He said it again. He said free. Say it again. He said free. He said free. Bring that back again. Free. Bring it back. Bring it back. Free. <laughs> that was wild. Absolutely. But no, though, no, seriously, you get a lot of free things, all right, just by having a huge following. Because think about this. You have a huge following, and there may be somebody that may be new to the platform. Okay, they may come across your page, they have a product or a service, and they really want to get their services out there to the mass, all right? And then the thing about it, they reach out to you and say, hey, um, I love your page, I see you're doing some great things, I, I see you have tons of great engagement, you have a huge following, and they tell you a little bit about their product or service, right? And what happens is, they will be willing to pay you just to promote their product or service to your audience so they can get more exposure, right? It's called influence and marketing, all right? And not only that, but just by having a strong following, uh, you're just gonna have different businesses reaching out uh, that's gonna be willing to just hand you money just because you have a huge following. And that can be extra income on top of what you're doing, and we call those shout outs, right? And so now let's talk about how to really grow, all right? Because you have to grow in order to have a huge social presence, right? Right, and one thing I want to interject very quickly is, like, he just spoke on affluence of marketing, which is huge and right. definitely a way to create an additional stream of income, mm -hmm. but also by having that following, mm -hmm. having great content, having that engagement, it helps with also promoting your own products and services too, so keep that in mind. All right. Okay, so it's not just influence marketing, I know he spoke on that, which is huge, because that's another stream of income just by having that follow. Like you say, you can get a lot of free stuff, mm -hmm. um, and, and you have these different brands and business that'll pay you for shout out, but also it's a way as well to sell your own products and services, because it's positioned as an authority in your space when they see you have that follow. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, i just get share a quick story, all right? So I got a good friend of mine, his name is Paul, right? Paul has a huge following. So it's a company, they actually sell um, different creative suits for men, all right? So the page found Paul, and they noticed that Paul, you know, he dressed up in suits as well. So they reached out to Paul, you know, to promote their product on his page. So what they did for Paul was gave him um, several free suits, you know, just to wear and promote their product and service. And now by them reaching out to Paul to help grow their social presence, now this account has grown pretty much they close to the 100K mark already. Mm. And they also have increased sales just in under one year. And they actually just started actually last year in business, right? So that's the power of influencer marketing, right, that I wanted to share with you. Now, like I was speaking on uh, is how to grow, okay? Because you have to know these different growth strategies um, before you can even grow a social presence, all right? So if you don't know these tactics or strategies, and if you're not implementing them right now, um, I highly recommend you to do it as soon as possible, okay? Now, the first way that you can grow, which I pretty much spoke on, is by leveraging influencers, okay? Um, just having a bigger page that has a large following that may be in the same niche or similar than you and have them to promote what you're doing. The second way that you can also grow your page is by finding other pages that may have a similar size following than you and you just connect with them and network and just find out if they will be open you know to pretty much doing a shout out for shout out where you're basically promoting each other's posts on you guys page and so now both of you all on both ends is getting that exposure all right so that's one of the key things too that you can also leverage when it comes to growing now a lot of people utilize, un, this is like one of the unutilized tools. Um, yes, stories. You have to use Instagram stories, okay? That is another growth strategy, believe it or not, because people look at stories like, okay, it's all good, but I want people to really see my content. Yes, they're gonna still see your content, but the reason why stories is so crucial, um, honestly, in my opinion, I believe that story views and all these different engagement, you get more than you do sometimes on your feed. And the reason, because people love to see behind the scenes of what you're doing when it comes to your business. And the reason why stories is so um, crucial and so important right now is because Instagram pretty much has everything set up, laid out for you to really market and monetize your business or whatever it is that you're doing. 
One of the key things that I like to use when it comes to stories is leveraging the poll feature. So if you don't know what the poll feature is, it's pretty much where you're asking your audience a question and you want them to vote whether it's yes or no. And you can also put in your own creative answers or responses as well. So for example, let's just say you may be in the fitness space, right? You may pose a question, how many will be open to learning more information on how to lose 10 pounds in 10 days or something like that, just throwing it out. Yes or no, all right? Now what happens is, when people come through your stories, they vote yes or no. The goal is to focus on the people that said yes, all right? Because now those are potential clients or potential partners for your business, whatever the case may be. So now what you can do when it comes to Instagram, everyone that voted, Instagram will show you every single profile that voted yes, that was based off of the question you asked. And what happened is you can just go to that person's page one by one, simply shoot them a DM, hey so-and-so, um, Antonio here, I saw that you checked out my stories and I noticed that you also voted about wanting to know more information about how to lose 10 pounds in 10 days, right? Let's connect the network and I would love to share more information. You know, just build that rapport with that person, right? That's how another way you can not only grow, but you can also monetize. And believe it or not, by leveraging stories and people interacting with your stories, that is another form of engagement. And that also helps with your reach on your profile as a whole uh, when it comes to Instagram. All right, so that's pretty much it what I wanted to share with you. Anything else you want to hit on? No, that's great. That's great. How many of you all got some value out of that? I'm going to let Antonio go around and look at the comments. How many of you all got some value out of that? Let me see some ones. Let me see some ones. Throw them ones. 2020, who's going to get into the 1%? Do you all know to get into the 1% is just a little over 350000 a year, multiple six-figure earner, right? How many of you all get into that 1%? Type some ones if you just got some value. I love golden nuggets. Antonio just gave you all for absolutely free. Where he asked people to spend some money with them for this stuff, he shared it with you for free. Absolutely. He shared with you all how you can get food for free in 2020. Right? How you can stay wow. places all over the world for free in 2020. How you can get paid. I need this. For having that following. On the gram <laughs> in 2020, and also get more exposure, get more traffic, generate more leads, get more customers and clients for your own business on the ground. How to leverage stories, how to leverage polls. That's huge. Real talk. I hear we get some ones. That means yep. you all, it's a value. Now, I'm about to ready to go into the next segment and talk about Facebook advertisement for 2020. Being I spend a lot of my time in the Facebook business manager every day. Managing right now tens of thousands of dollars in ad spend for clients, okay, on a monthly basis, absolutely. I'm about to dive into that. But what I do want to tell you all, for you all that need this, it's a link up in the description, geraldbass.com slash get more sales, where Antonio goes a whole lot more in detail on what he just spoke on on his live stream. All you have to do is click the link. In conclusion of this training, just click the link, name and email, inform me. The tr training is free. I don't know how long we're going to keep it up, but it's free. Okay, we'll go a lot more in detail. You can see a lot more on the results and stuff like that. As a matter of fact, Antonio, if you want to just share some results very quickly before I shift into Facebook advertisement very quickly, some results, some accounts that have been grown over on Instagram that Rise Media has taken part in. Absolutely. So, of course, yours truly, G Bass Web Tips. You can check over here and see if you can see it good. Okay, there. gotcha. Yeah, just check and see if you can see it good or clear. Hold on. How's that? No, you have to come up some more. Come up some more. Uh, yeah, we about we we can see it a little bit. There, can y'all yeah. see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this Gerald's account. Uh, not only that, but this is the rise of the one percent. No, I hope they saw that number though. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that number. Yeah, we over forty two thousand over there. Absolutely. Uh, we did that in four to five days. Yeah. All right, go to the next. We'll go ahead. Keep it moving. Yeah, we got the rise of the one percent page. Oh yeah. See, we we don't just talk it, y'all. We walk it. 
<laughs> hold on. You got notifications, so you got to move that okay. notification out of the way. Just, hold on one second, guys. Let me just shut off all notifications. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right. So, we got yeah. the rise page. All right. You got to go closer. Bring it closer. Bring it down. All right. There we go. All right. A little over 10,000 on the rise page, too. Okay. Antonio's page, you got notification. But okay. Antonio over 45. And then uh, another one of, one of his clients. Actress Joy White. Over 11,000. Yep. So. All right. So yes. we do this. And these are not fake followers, by the way. Talk on that real quick. These are not fake followers. Not fake followers at all. Now, you know, we have to stress that because there are so many people that's out here that's buying fake followers. And when they buy them, their engagement is not aligned with what they're follow account is and so one thing about it is we honestly I don't believe in buying fake followers because for one it kills your reputation and then people can spot if you bought real I mean not real but bought fake followers it's a site you can go to and find all this out and it will show you that this person don't bought followers all right and then two not only that but it, it increases it decreases your your health score when it comes to Instagram so I highly recommend you to never buy followers, all right? Because there's going to be a lot of people that are trying to reach out to you, like, hey, I can help you grow, and they're going to be sending a whole lot of fake followers to you. Now, while we're speaking on fake followers, I want to uh, share this with you guys as well, and I'm going to let Jared go ahead and dive in. So I actually collaborate with a lot of influencers all the time when it comes to shout-outs and having them to promote me to their larger audience. Right. So one of the things you want to keep in mind is that anytime you want to do a shout out with a big influencer, um, here's a couple of things you want to keep in mind. When you do send them the money, um, always use PayPal, okay? Always use PayPal and always use goods and services. Don't be, if they say send it to me as family and friends, don't do it. Because the fact that if they do not deliver what you paid them for, you cannot put a dispute with PayPal. So it's very important that you set and send the payment as goods and services. That's number one. Number two, when you get ready to do a promo with an influencer, if you have a business account, convert that business account to a personal account and put your profile on private. Now, this is the reason why you wanna go private because listen, there's a lot of sites that you can buy followers from. And if you were to buy followers and someone send those followers to your page, they're not going to go through because your page is private. So now that protects you from having fake followers come into your profile. So when that influencer is promoting you, and then all of a sudden you start seeing these different follow requests, now you know that you're attracting real and loyal fans that loves your content based off of what you're posting. So make sure you always put your profile on private when you're doing promos with influencers, all right? So I wanted to share that with y'all. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely, man. Appreciate you. Great information. Great information. So you all can see a lot of nuggets dropped in reference to Instagram kicking off 2020. And so we're going to shift because I don't want to be on here too long. And I appreciate you all for chiming in. I know your time is definitely the most valuable asset. Glad you all getting some value out of this. Uh, we're going to dive into talking about Facebook advertisement. I've been running ad campaigns literally for the last three years for different businesses and we've gotten better and better and better at it year after year, getting better results. And um, recently, I mean, we've been running ads for some clients lately, I mean, for several months now, like several months. Um, they're generating leads, they're getting calls every single day for their business. And I just wanna share with you how it's working. Because there's one thing in terms of growing your business organically online, and a lot of people, they like to use this terminology of free traffic, right? I wanna get free traffic. And there's nothing wrong with quote unquote free traffic, but it's not necessarily free when you have to use a lot of your time. And we know time also is equal to income. So at the end of the day, it's not necessarily free traffic. If you're having to sit online and post on social media pages all day, post in Facebook groups all day, and just DM people all day, not saying those strategies don't work, but for those that really scale, they eventually get into paid advertising. You got companies like Apple, they advertise. Coca-Cola advertisers. These are multi-billion dollar companies. And so when it comes to actually scaling your business, it's good to tap into paid advertisement, being that you have something that's already converted, something that's already selling. Now, if you don't have something that's selling already, that's not converting very well, I don't definitely recommend you dump your money into paid ads, okay, from my experience. 
So I do want to share that with you. All right, so let's talk a little bit about Facebook advertising and how to dominate. And what I've discovered from my clients, and you all gonna see some of their results too, I'm gonna show it to you in a minute. Some of my clients' results that I've been working with for like the last five months or so, running ads for them, okay? So the first thing that I've discovered in terms of my clients that crush it with Facebook ads is for one, they have what we call a client avatar. Okay, that's the first thing you see up there, a client avatar. I've talked to so many different business owners that do not have this, okay? So client avatar is basically who is your ideal client or customer that you're looking to attract to your particular business, right? What's the demographics? Where are they located at, right? What is their gender? What is their age range? Where do they get their information from? What do they get their news from? What magazines do they read? What do they shop? Right? What are their interests? What are their behaviors? Okay? Things of that nature. So, with that being said, that's the first thing. And you can go ahead and deep. Are they single? Are they married? Do they own a home? Do they have kids? Do they graduate from high school? Do they graduate from college? Like, who is your ideal customer client? Okay? So, one of my clients right now, I mean, who's generated like literally thousands of leads since we've been running ads for over the last five months or so, and she's averaging around about two to three qualified calls on calendar a day right now. Uh, and I'm gonna explain to you what I mean by qualified in a second. Um, and also, she's generating sales, high ticket type of sales. Matter of fact, she's selling a $3,000 coaching program. Uh, this is what she had. She came to me with a client avatar, right? She knew where her ideal clients were. She knew the gender, which is women. She knew the age range. She brought all this to me. She knew what they were interested in, like what magazines they read, what pages they liked on Facebook. She knew all this, right, when she came to me. So this made the process a whole lot more simple for us because she knew who her ideal client was, okay? So this is very important. The second thing you have to have to dominate with Facebook advertising in 2020 is an irresistible offer, okay? So we call this a lead magnet. So all of my clients who are crushing with Facebook advertisement right now, as we are in 2020 already, they all have yours as well. They have a lead magnet. It may be a value video. Matter of fact, all of my clients right now who I'm generating leads for, they all are using value videos, the ones that I'm running ads for right at this time. Now, we ran ads for other businesses where they're not using value videos. They may be giving a discount on a particular product or service, or they may be driving traffic for a webinar right, and things of that nature, or they're generating leads from an ebook, or whatever the case may be, but right now all our clients are using a value video, a self is actually an e-commerce business, we're about to ready to launch ad campaigns for over the next week, and of course they're not using a value video, they're doing a discount on one of their products on the front end, okay, that's going to be the lead magnet. All right. But you have to have some type of irresistible offer, whether that's a discount on your product or service, whether that's some type of value video, you might say, what is a value video? A value video, we call it BSL, Video Sales Letter Video. Okay, it's basically a video that identifies the pains, problems, and frustrations of your particular market. Semi gives them the solution. Does not give them the entire solution. Semi gives them the solution, meaning providing some value, educating them, showing some success stories or testimonials or reviews or proof that your particular product or service works. And then at the end, giving a call to action if they want assistance to fill out a short survey of questions, okay, that pre-qualify them as a serious customer client of yours, and then schedule a call on an online calendar around their availability and your availability, okay? That's what an irresistible offer is in terms of a value video in the BSL. That's how we have it set up, okay? And number three is a lead generation system, which is, I guess, basically gave you all one of our most highly converted lead generation systems right now, which is the value video marketing funnel. That's one of our most highly converted funnels right now. Okay, now like I say, we about to ready to launch ads for e-commerce business over this next week, all right? And their offer is not, like I say, a value video, okay? So it depends on the type of business you have, all right? But we've been working with uh, travel agents, we've been working with uh, coaches, consultants, people in the credit repair space, and now we're about to ready to launch some ad campaigns, like I said, uh, for e-commerce uh, business. And we also worked with some realtors as well at the end of 2019. But with the realtors, we didn't use your traditional sales funnel. We used something called Facebook Messenger Marketing. 
Uh, we use what we call a chat bot, and we automated their marketing through Facebook Messenger. So we used a total different system for that, okay? But for these clients right now that we're currently running ads for, they have the traditional marketing sales funnel, okay? Lead generation system, landing page, some type of free offer, something free of value to your audience, or a discount on a particular product or service, or a free plus shipping offer, or whatever the case may be, in exchange for people giving you their name and email, and then them going over to get the stuff that you just promised them, right? That's pretty much what it is, okay? That's what the lead generation system is. Now, why is the lead generation system very important, okay? Why is the lead generation system very important, you all? Because not only with the lead generation systems we're using right now, they're generating qualifying calls because these people have to fill out an application prior to speaking to them on the phone. So they don't even have to do the call if they choose not to because they can look over the application and say, hey, this person don't seem quality. I'm not going to waste my time. So I'm going to shoot them an email and let them know, you know, thank you for applying or thank you for submitting your survey or application to look into our product and service, but based off how you answer the questions, it don't look like you're fit at this particular time. You know, maybe if anything changes with your situation in the future, you can reach back out to us, okay? But majority of my clients are doing calls with the applications and calls that are coming in, okay? Based off how they fill out the surveys. They're getting quality calls, okay? So, like I said, that is a huge benefit, of course, to having a marketing sales funnel is, of course, People going through the phone, people booking calls, or people purchasing your products and services throughout the phone. Now, a great other thing about having a lead generation system is building an email list, okay? 2020, if you do not have an email list, all right, you will not dominate. You have to have an email list. We don't own Facebook, we don't own Instagram, we don't own Twitter, we don't own LinkedIn, we don't own YouTube, we don't own this new platform, TikTok, right? <laughs> we don't own any of this stuff. We don't own Snapchat. We don't own any other platform. What you own online is if you have your own personal branded website, if you have a sales funnel, and your email list. That's what you own, okay? They can shut any of your social platforms down tomorrow, and your whole network is gone. Whereas if you have an email list, you can consistently still market to that database. Another thing too, everybody is not going to purchase your product and service on the first exposure or they're not going to schedule a call depending on the type of system you have in place on the first exposure. So you want to have automated email follow-ups in place to consistently follow up to those leads to educate them, provide value, build more trust, build more goodwill, and then make offers to them. Okay? Until they schedule a call, until they buy. All right? Now, if you have an e-commerce business, it can get a little bit more confusing, okay? And what I mean by that is, it's a little bit more moving parts in terms of e-commerce, okay? And if you don't necessarily really understand lead generation system, then it may seem a little confusing to you. But I can break it down to you and make it very simple to you on this live stream. If you have an e-commerce business, then we have built out funnels for business owners in the e-commerce space is you don't want to market to all your customers the same. You really don't want to do that in any lead generation system, but I'm just going to talk specifically on e-commerce. Okay, So you may have some people who may opt into your lead generation system for your front end offer and make an initial purchase on whatever product that you're giving a discount or coupon code on or whatever the case may be. Okay, and you may have some people opt in and make that initial purchase, and then after they make that initial purchase, you may position an upsell for something else, right? Of greater value to them that can help them even more that they can purchase at a higher price. Okay, now you may have some people that purchase that upsell, and you have some people that don't purchase that upsell. The people that purchase that upsell shouldn't be receiving the same emails in email marketing that the people that don't purchase the upsell. Okay? They have two different places in the customer journey, so they should be marketed to differently. See, a lot of people don't understand this. Okay? Or you may have some people right, who come to your lead generation system if you're selling a physical product, okay? and they may purchase your initial product on the front end, and they see your one-time offer for your upsell, and they don't purchase that. 
you offer them what we call a downsell product, right? Something a little bit more less value, cheaper price. One time offer. And they may purchase that downsell. Okay? They should be receiving different emails and email marketing than those who didn't purchase the downsell either. Okay? So I hope you all are getting this. This is called behavior marketing. It's called list segmentation. This is how you're going to dominate in 2020. That's if you're selling, like I say, I'm giving you an example of a physical product. Okay? All right? And it's the same thing even if you have a value video lead generation system too. People that have scheduled calls, of course, should be receiving different emails than those that did schedule calls. Or those that became clients of yours should be receiving different emails than those that didn't become clients of yours. Okay? So it's called list segmentation. All right, so I hope you all got some out of that so far. You should not be running ads without a lead generation system, period. Not the page post engagement ad, where you just, uh, you just, or just boosting a post and getting people to comment, okay? You're going to be going crazy all day trying to respond to people commenting on your ad. Believe me, I know this. You want to automate things. You want to automate things for 2020. Time is of essence, Okay? If you're getting value so far, drop some ones, please. I'm about to go into the last two parts of dominating with Facebook advertising in 2020. I'm about to go into the last couple of parts. But I want to see some ones. I want to see some love. If you get value, drop some ones. Show me some love. Feel free to share this live around with anyone else you feel can benefit. Okay? I'm sharing with you all some things that a lot of other people do not have no type of awareness of. Okay? If you take this information, you apply it, you will be literally a thousand steps ahead of a lot of people within your market. I can guarantee you that. Okay, because most people are not doing this, and if they are doing it, a lot of them are not doing it right. Okay, so you have to have these things in place. Now, the next part is creating ads. Okay, because you have your client avatar, you've done your market research, you have your irresistible, you have your lead man, you have your lead generation system, you have your marketing funnel in place, now you have to create ads. Okay. Now, what has we been seeing that's working when it comes to creating ads? Well, for one, we've been saying video is outperforming images, and we've been testing both when it comes to ad campaigns for our clients. But right now, all of our clients, after doing major testing, they're all using videos. Every last one of them. They're not running image ads. Okay. So if you're afraid to get behind the camera in 2020. Let me ask you this. Do you want to go on and become successful, become part of the top 1%, or do you remain where you are? Okay? If you don't want to remain where you are, you want to become part of the top 1%, you got to do what the 1% does, not the 99. And you got to get out of your comfort zone of being afraid of getting behind the camera. Okay? And not only that, I'm going to drop another golden nugget on you all. A lot of people are telling too much in their ads about how great their product and service is. You want to crush it with Facebook ads in 2020? Show how great your product or service is. Okay? Demonstrate over telling. That's a golden nugget for you. The talking head videos and ads are not doing as well like they used to over people that are moving in ads and people that are demonstrating in ads and people that have some form of entertainment in ads while they're educated. Okay? You want to write this down. Educate, entertain, execute. Three E's. Educate, entertain, execute when it comes to ads. Videos. Having captions in your videos. Because everybody is not all the time in environments where they can unmute the video. So having captions in the videos. All right? And then, of course, it's the whole sequence of how you even lay your video out, what's being said in the video. If you want further additional training on that, I recommend you click that link up in the description. Take a look at that training video and then look into potentially scheduling a call with us. Okay, I'm not going to go into the blueprint on video tonight because that's not what this live stream is about. Okay, but video and then also writing persuasive ad copy when it comes to creating ads. What do I mean by persuasive ad copy? 
Knowing how to write words that move people to action. Knowing when to use long form copy over short form copy. Knowing how to test long form copy versus short form copy. Another thing is testing different variations of ads. So some people, they just boost one post off their page, right? Or they're just running one ad with one creative, one ad copy, one headline. Some people just targeting 15 to 20 different interests in that one ad. And running them on Facebook and Instagram at the same time. I don't even have a split up. I just shared some with y'all too. Somebody gonna catch that. Y'all, you have to separate everything when it comes to running your ads. Your Facebook, if you're running Facebook and Instagram ads, they should not be running in the same ad set. They should be separated. You won't know which one is performing the best. Right? Or which one is not performing as good. Or are they both performing good? You don't know if you don't separate. And like I say, testing different variations of videos, testing different variations of ad copy, long ad copy, short ad copy, testing different variations of headlines for your ads. This is the type of stuff you have to do in 2020. You have to put more time into it, or you can outsource it, which is we do that as a digital marketing agency. Also with creating ads, of course we know is you know set up your targeting. That's actually the second part of creating the ads, creating the asset. Now, the thing about our ad campaigns that have them crushing so much right now, as well, is because our clients have built what we call email lists, which is a lot of business owners online are not doing, and that's why they don't dominate with Facebook advertisement. Our clients have hundreds of thousands of subscribers on their email list. So what we're able to do is we're able to take that email list and we're able to create what we call lookalike audiences where we're able to tell Facebook, hey, go find us two million people that look like everybody on this email list and put the ads in front of them. And I'm gonna tell you this. That's one of the biggest factors too to why our clients' campaigns are doing this. That's why you gotta have this lead generation system. Because if you're not building an email list, you'll never get to that result. Number five is managing the ads. Now that you have your ads created, now you have to run your ads and you have to manage them. You do not touch your ads for 72 hours of launching. The first three days, you do not touch your ads. Some people are like on an emotional roller coaster. They're looking at their ads manager like the stock market, right? They're watching it like a hawk. Oh, it's going up, oh, it's going down, right? You can't do that in advertisement. Advertisement is all science, it's based off data. All we care about is numbers, nothing else. We don't even care about likes, comments, and shares as much. Now, I will tell you this, yes, you do want engagement because it does help with the algorithm when it comes to Facebook advertisement, but at the same time, okay, that's not what we're just mainly focused on. We're really focused on is the ad getting clicks? If so, how much are we paying per click? Is it generating leads? If so, how much are we paying per lead? Right? We are looking at click-through rate, okay, meaning people clicking from the ad, over to the landing page. What is that click-through rate looking like? We're looking at the conversion rate on the landing page. We like our conversion rates on the landing page at least over 20%. That's what we're looking at. And then we're looking at the cost to acquire a customer or client. How much is it costing us to get somebody to become a customer or client? And are we being profitable? Meaning, making more back from the ads than what's being spent. That's what we're looking at when it comes to managing ads. So number one, you want to double that Facebook ads, client avatar. Number two, you need an irresistible offer. Number three, lead generation system. Number four, you got to know how to create these ads. Number five, you got to manage the ads. Those are the steps. Hope y'all got a lot out of this. Okay, we got to really hop on our Rising Web City Market Academy call very soon. What I do want to share with you all is that we actually created a training over the weekend, me and Antonio Millhouse. 
We're going to mark in detail in terms of growing your Instagram account, monetizing your Instagram account. How do you use paid advertisement to scale your business to tens of thousands, to hundreds of thousands of dollars? Okay? Being that, of course, you put in the work to make it happen, right? Or you can outsource the work. We have a trainer. And the link is actually up in the description. I don't know how long me and Antonio is going to keep that link up there. I don't know how long we're going to keep this up online. So you want to definitely check it out. Just go click the link, name, email it, take a look at that training. And if you want further assistance, even not to get a more value out of that training, because we've got more depth in the training, then just fill out the survey and schedule a call to speak with us. To see how we can really take your business to the top 1% in 2020. Do we have any questions? Any questions? Any questions? <clears throat> you got value, drop some ones. If you got value, drop some ones. We fired up this year, y'all. We fired up. I just gave you all some information that a lot of people pay us a lot of money for. Right? So, I will hope that you are looking to implement what was shared. And if you want even more information, more training, just click that link and go look at that training. It's free. It don't cost you nothing. Any questions? Vic Smith put the ones in the comments. That's what's up. You're a one percenter. Let's get it. Okay. Let's get it. That's it so far. Okay. Gotcha. One percent, one one ones. I need that. These are some great nuggets. Hold on one second. Uh, Trey Davis, he dropped some ones in the comments. Awesome. Yes, sir. Let's yes, get sir. it. Perfect. Well, oh, the last thing I'll do real quick is show you all the results. I did say I was going to do that. So we'll show you all some of our accounts, so managing this, clients. This is for one of our tribal, tribal clients. Okay, one of our tribal clients. You should be able to see the number of leads. You should be able to see how much they're paying per lead. Okay? And those leads are turning into appointments on their calendar every day. Most of them are generating three to five new clients a week. Minimum. Right. One okay. more. And that's another one. That's one of our clients that has a coaching business. Mm-hmm. She's right. helping uh, moms. She's helping moms that have daughters. She's teaching them how to defend themselves without a weapon or learning martial arts. She has a coaching program. And I'm pretty sure you saw the results. <clears throat> We've generated her tons of leads, appointments. She's making sales, selling a high ticket product. Killing it. All right, so we have no more questions, y'all. We're going to close out. Like I said, the link is up in the description. If you're watching this video anywhere else, the link is www.geraldbands.com slash get more sales. Okay, geraldbands.com slash get more sales. You can go over and you can go into a more in-depth training on what we covered in this live stream. Feel free to share this around with anyone else you feel can benefit. If you're watching this up on YouTube, make sure you hit the red button, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And with that said, we'll definitely see you all next time. This is Gerald Bass, creative founder of the Rise of the 1%. Have a great day on purpose.